de Janeiro, The Maze, This Is My Studio. And to talk about this painting, Here Beyond, it's about what it's like to be a painter. Many years ago, back in London, I was painting one day, and at 11 o'clock in the morning, my lady came and put a, a French loaf with a lot of cheese and stuff in it, you know, a nice big sandwich in my left hand. You know, I used to have a, a glass table that I painted, I used to mix my paints on, painting away, painting away. And uh, at some point I found myself right close up, close up to the canvas, painting as almost my nose in the canvas. And I suddenly realised why. It was because it was dark and I couldn't see what I was doing. And it was dark because the day had ended. It was night time. And um, so I took a breath and I stepped back and I sat down in my seat and dumped my brushes into the turps. And I just sat for ten minutes looking at my painting, having knocked the light on with my elbow. And after about ten minutes I felt this strange sensation in my left hand and I looked down to my left hand and there was a whole loaf with some cheese and some stuff in it. It had been there since eleven o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock at night and I hadn't touched it. It was, of course, I'd strangled the poor thing to death. You see, when you're a painter, the boundaries of time and space aren't obeyed by you and what you're doing everything becomes unreal and sometimes uh, you go to places and that you don't know you've gone to um, maybe you've been there before and you don't know. it's very strange your mind opens in a strange way and this painting here beyond is all about that here is a man who's painting and he's been painting four days that's me he's lost all sense of time he's probably hallucinating a bit. No drugs, never use them. Don't need that, thank you very much. And, uh, and at some point, it seems as though his own shadow, because we live in the sunlight of today, but in the shadow of all our history, his own shadow seems to become a person from somewhere beyond somewhere. Maybe the other life that he didn't live himself. Maybe the life that he didn't live himself where he did nothing. He sat by and did nothing. He did not create. And that person who did not create, who went through from the beginning of life to the end of life doing nothing, not contributing, not creating, as if that person is coming back and saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I wish I'd never done that. I wish I'd done something. Please give me the brush. Please let me paint. And it's a strange sensation where you feel you're, you're fighting with your other ego, or your other ego is fighting with you. And all this time, there is the completely detached you, looking on, just as if it's all a play. It's a very theatrical painting in many ways, but then, you know, life is a stage.